okay so yesterday we have discussed about the event handling today we'll discuss about the event listener how we can use and uh, how we can achieve the event listening uh, in backend so first of all event listener uh, it is designed to process some kind of event we have already knows that thing and after that it's just simple function or the procedure you can see it's just a method in a, your computer program that's waits that uh, that events waits for an event to occur that means this computer program waits for an event to occur and basically why we introduce the concept of this event listener because of if you want to handle the jcr level events jcr level jcr that means your node and your session if you want to handle these types of events then we have to use the event listener that means in our backend now we are using a session by the way we are using the session object and by using the session object we can easily and write in our repository that means we can easily read and write the content in our repository okay so that's why we are using the event listener so how we can achieve it so first of all uh, if you want to use this event listener you have to register this event listener with the jcr observation manager we have one we have one uh, method you can say you have to use this method okay and in after that we can easily call this event listener and all this event listener that is present inside this package that is java x jcr observation package and the thing is when you implement this event listener you have to uh, one uh, on event method is there okay we have to use this on event methods okay so let's go and just try to create it okay it's not a it's not on yeah it's on event method and here we have a iterator so, so we'll see how we can create this one first so here come here first here i have created the logger that means if i am just uh, i am just trying to achieve the event handling or i just want to trigger any event so how we can check it so for that i have just created the logger it's just for the debugging purpose after that we have the session basically why i am using the session we already knows that what we are using we are using the event listener and event listener is used for the jcr event handling and inside this jcr we have a session and the nodes so basically i am just performing the events on the session okay so this session is used for read and write the content for your repository then or for your workspace then we can use this session okay so just come here here i have uses and uh, we knows that that event listener or the handler it's a part of the ohgi so for that we have to write at the rate component immediate is equals to true service and this event listener dot class okay after that here i have uses one uh, life cycle this is the this is the activate uh, annotation and this annotation is related to your uh, in your bundle that means this is the life cycle of your bundle when your bundle is activated that time this method will call and we knows that we don't have any object that means we are not able to create the object here for this class we cannot create the object this object will automatically create when your uh, when your uh, bundle is activate okay so it has automatically call indirectly it will call so here uh, the thing is now consider okay so like uh, here inside this crxd consider this is my crxd and inside i have a lot of nodes this node and this one is our back end part yeah this node i just want it and here inside this crxd uh, maybe in our bundles here are here another console is there and there we have a bundle and inside this bundle we have the uh whatever whatever the project we have all this project uh, back end code will store inside this bundle is it no and inside this crxd we have this okay so from this now i just want to read and write the content from here from this crxd we have the content folder and from this content we have a lot of nodes yeah from this node i just want to read and write the content for my back end i just want to read and write the content in my back end okay or 
when I'm just fetching this data, this is the node that I'm just fetching here. So I need some configuration. This time I need configuration and the connectivity. Okay, uh, these two things we need it. So for that we have to use the session. We have to use the session. Like consider now you are creating the page. Now you are creating the page and based on when you are creating the page that means what you are doing you are adding the node yeah when you are adding the node you want to trigger this workflow so how we can trigger it we are writing the code in our back end and uh, here that page is we are creating in our website so th how this thing to uh, how these things possible so we have to connect the back end code okay we have to connect the back end code with front end so how we can do this thing so simply first of all here we have a concepts of the weekend subservice that means this is not a subservice it's just simple a user see this is just simple a user and uh, this is nothing but the system user okay they uh, it don't it doesn't have any credential that means we cannot log in by using admin and admin okay that means it doesn't have any username and the password this is only it's just simple a user and here we are giving the permission this user okay we are just simply giving the permission to this user and this user we are binding with a backend code okay that means uh, we are just creating the user this user we are uh, we are giving the permission okay and after that we are just performing any events or we are just triggering any events in our backend okay in our back end we are just triggering this event and we can simply call it this is the thing okay so first of all here you come uh, this is our user now I'll tell you how we can create the user but before that uh, this one is our user and inside this we have all the permission all the permission where it is present uh, inside this user so this is the user if you want to take for that you need one method that is login service okay and this one is your workspace see we are reading and writing the content okay from this user so for that what we need we need one workspace so if you have to mention it otherwise if you are not mentioning then it will take the by default workspace okay and this login method it's present inside this service that is sling repository so we have to use this sling repository for taking the system user okay we got it and this method return the object of the session okay that means inside this we have a permission all the content that we are uh, fetching from this service to this session and this session now it's responsible for reading and writing the repository content okay but we know that now what we want we want to perform the event listener what we want we want to trigger the event by using the event listener and we know that this event is triggered by using the observation manager okay by using this observation manager our event listener is registered so for taking this method we need this get observation manager okay and we are taking the current permission what we are taking we are taking the from this session we are taking the current workspace and from this workspace we are taking the get observation manager yeah and after that we are performing the performing the event listener okay in this event listener uh, that event listener method will accept seven parameters this is the seven parameter it will accept so first that is this this is the standard event listener this one is our events that means this one is our event object and this is the object we want to execute okay uh, here we are uh, we are setting simple word if I'll tell you here we are just simply setting the event listener for what we are setting it for executing this object this is the object we want to execute from here to here okay this is the object we want to execute it so how we can do these things so for that this is the object we want to execute so we have to mention here so when you are using this that means you are using this object inside this method okay after that here this event listener is listening these are two nodes that means node added and the property added if somebody try to add the node that means if he try to create the page that means what he's doing 
he's creating the page in uh, he's creating the node in our crxd okay if i'll try to create the page here inside this if i'm going in my star uh, site here we have options of the page we have to select first someone and here we have options of the page if i'll try to create the page this page indirectly it will store inside your uh, apps it will store in your content content folder that means what we are doing we are adding a notes yeah so here uh, we already define if somebody added the node or if somebody added the properties then this method this event listener will execute this event listener execute when somebody added the node and somebody pr added the property so i have uh, i have just adding i have just adding the property if you want to change it then you have to mention here change event okay after that when i already told you when somebody added or the uh, added the property then it will call or it will trigger but where they will add so this path we have to mention here at the third we have to mention the path if somebody try to change inside your en then this event listener will execute okay and here we have options of the is deep that means consider here we have a content weekend us and the en if inside this en we have the pages content we have we have the weekend uh, en and inside this en we don't have the pages but we have the routes so it will uh, in from this en it will only go this uh, jcr colon content that may it will take only one child node okay is this that may it will only take one child node from this parent from this en it will only take this one that is jcr colon content but if you want this all the stuffs everything that you want then you have to write here true you have to write here true otherwise if you don't want this you want only this en and this jcr content then we have to write here false okay is simple uh, when you are returning true it will take all the child pages from this en if you are returning false then it will only take one child page okay uh, this is the uid uh, we have to write is in array format so uid that means it's a unique name and based on this unique name if you want to execute your event listener then we can easily do that thing so for that we have to mention here but right now i'm not mentioning anything okay at the uh, here we have the null okay that is means node type filter like uh, this is the event listener you want to perform only on the some specific node then this specific node we have to mention inside this that means we have to write this node like if i want to mention then i'm i'm using this array and i'm just uh, defining like we know that we have a cq colon page content page content that means when you try if somebody added this cq colon page content then this event will trigger that means what we are doing we are restricting our events this event uh, this event listener only trigger when somebody try to create this cq page content or somebody try to add the property inside this cq page content this is the thing and at the last we have a true okay so here what we are doing we are just triggering the events what we are doing we are just triggering the event but the same event if you uh, the same event with this session you don't want to trigger again then here you can simply use false that means if you don't want to trigger this event same uh, don't want to trigger this event again and again so for that we have to simply write here false okay this is the thing and uh, yeah this thing now that means we have just simply registered our servlet what we have done here we have uh, we have uh, sets our event listener now we have to execute this object first of all we have to deploy it and once we deploy once we deploy and if we try to create the page or something in our node in this path then our event will trigger so what event will trigger this one this method so here we have a iterator that is event iterator why it's not their object why it has only the event iterator why because of here you see here we have a en we have selected the en 
and if somebody try to create like here inside this page so we have to take this en this jcr colon contain this root and this page everything we have to take it so for that we need some iterator we don't need any uh, object like here inside this en we have the jcr content inside this we have a root container here we have a lot of sub nodes if somebody changes here so f and here we are currently we are in this en so we have to iterate all these steps for iterating we need a iterator not object yeah and it has a next uh, inside this while loop it has a next so we are here we are just printing the path okay what we are doing we are printing the path okay so the it will print this and it will print the path okay so once we have deployed once we will deploy we have how this event will trigger so for that we have to create the page we just come back how we can create the page we know that now i'm creating the page inside this here inside this en we have to create otherwise it won't it won't trigger so we have to create inside this en why because of we have already mentioned what we have mentioned this path that is content weekend us en here you see content weekend us en so just create what is the name like i'm just using test this page just create it once you have created now this event has trigger now what we have done inside this en if i'll try to refresh it somewhere that test page is created this is the test page that is created now just we simply need to go there and we have to check it where we have uh, written all this logic that means where we have printed inside our log so we have to go there in our log so just simply go where this one is our am inside this am we have a cr quick start log and this one is our weekend 3 this one is our log so just double click it and here you see what it has printing like first of all it's printing the paths what is this this one is our path uh, before that we have to deploy it, okay no first just uh, deploy deploy and when you deploy and just try to create the page then this types of uh, fields will appear this types of information will appear okay so it has showing first path later that it it's showing the content we can us en and the en okay so this is the page maybe that we have created before this en page that we have created the before that's why this page is showing after that it has printing all the uh, properties like this is the property that is jcr primary yeah uh, jcr created by and after that jcr created jcr colon content so all this data is printing why it is printing because of event iterator here we have a iterator and by using that iterator next event all the events we are printing all this event that means where is our yeah all this event that means this one inside this inside this en we have a jcr colon content if you are creating this this is the thing that you are creating so it has printing this text page first after that it will print this jcr colon content and after it will print this root here we have a container this title and the container everything it will print like uh, here we have the properties as well so we have printed the properties see we have printed created by jcr created jcr content jcr content have one property that is a jcr primary type yeah and jcr content have a jcr created by so just go there and inside the jcr content just come here here you see here we have all of the stuffs that is jcr created jcr created by and here we have a primary type as well so it will print all this information okay so this is the thing guys